All right, now we're going to continue on with example six. And when we take a look at that, we're given that angles ABC and CBD are supplementary. And we're asked to find the value of X and the measures of each angle. So first thing we want to do is kind of take a look at our diagram. If those two angles, ABC and CBD, are supplementary, that means they're going to have a sum of 180 degrees. If they have a sum of 180 degrees, if they're supplementary, then that means we have to set up an equation that's going to help us find not only X, but also the measures of each angle. So, if you think you've got this down, you hit pause, set up your equation, solve for the variable, and then find the measure of each angle. Then when you're done, check it and see if you wrote everything correctly. What we're going to do is make sure that we add the measure of angle ABC and CBD. Set that equal to 180 since my two angles are supplementary. Second, we're going to go ahead and substitute the value of 4x plus 8 and x plus 2 for each one of the angles respectively. Now on the third line, we're going to combine like terms to end up with 5x plus 10 equals 180. Using the subtraction property of equality, we'll get 5x equals 170. Last, we use the division property of equality to get x equals 34. Now, common error, people think they're done when you get 34. You're not, so continue on. But make sure that you read the question to figure out what it is that you've got to find. In this case, we have to find the measures of each angle. So, we're going to set up two equations, one for each angle. We're going to substitute the value that we get for x into each one of those. And then, we're going to determine the value of each angle. If you think you know how to do that and write it correctly, go ahead and hit pause and come back to see if you did. Here's what that would look like. We'll take each equation and we'll set it up to the appropriate expression. We'll substitute the value of 34 in for x. We'll do our arithmetic to determine that the measure of angle ABC has a value of 144 degrees and the value of 36 degrees is how much the measure of angle CBD is. Now, again, with the technical writing, notice the measure of angles ABC and the measure of angle CBD, both of those values, those numbers, have your little degree symbol. x being 34, that does not have a degree symbol because 34 does not represent an angle. So x, which is what is represented by the number 34, that's not an angle, so you don't write the degree symbol for that. If you got that correct, good job. If it was a little bit much for you, that's all right. Pause it, rewind it, do what you need to do to make sure that you show your work correctly and you understand all the substitutions and the arithmetic. When we have two adjacent angles that form a 180 degree angle, then they are called linear pair angles. In other words, they form a straight line. The angles are also supplementary, just like we did in example 6. Now, one other type of angle that we'll study, and we'll get into this a lot more, are vertical angles. Vertical angles are what you have when two angles are called vertical angles if their sides form two linear pairs. Vertical angles are always, always, always congruent. So let's take a look at a quick diagram, but we'll leave a lot of this for the next couple of chapters. In our diagram, there are two pairs of vertical angles in this picture. The first pair are angles 1 and 2. The second pair are angles 3 and 4. Those would be the two pairs of vertical angles formed when two lines or line segments intersect one another. You will get to know vertical angles very well in the chapters ahead, so stay tuned. Now let's take a look at example number seven. Two angles form a linear pair. The measure of one angle is four times the measure of the other. Find the measure of each angle. Now when we go to think about this kind of problem, one of the first things that we want to do is recognize the word linear pair. Linear pair means the two angles are going to add up to 180. So more on that in a minute. Let's look at the next sentence. The measure of one angle is four times the measure of the other. That's going to be the key to solving this problem. And when I said the word key, I wasn't kidding. We're going to write the following. x equals one angle and 4x equals the other angle. Simple enough from that sentence. Now we're going to use the fact that the two angles are forming a linear pair 
to write an equation and then solve for x and 4x. What do you think that that equation would be? Yep, you guessed it. Add them up and set them equal to 180. We set x plus 4x equal to 180. Combine like terms, we get 5x equals 180. Dividing both sides by x gives us x equals 36. But wait, we're not done. We've got to make sure that we find the measure of each angle. So we know that one angle is x, which is 36. The other angle is 4x, or 4 times 36, which gives us a value of 144. Now again, technical writing. Make sure that we don't forget the degree symbols for each of our angles. If you understood all of that and how to complete this problem, give yourself a pat on your back. If you didn't, that's okay. Just pause it, rewind it, ask a question in class, ask a question of a friend or somebody else that you know, and you'll get the hang of it. With practice, you can do anything.